This is the final video for the semester. We're going to start with the formatted Word file that you did in week 10. This is the individual journal, which begins with the mission statement of about 200 words, and then it's followed by the week-by-week -week reflections on your learning. It can include screenshots like this or other diagrams if you want, but when it's ready in Microsoft Word, you need to save it in HTML format. It's very easy to do. You go to File and Save As. I'll do it to the desktop. And when you get to this dialog box, where it says Save as Type, click on Word Document and you'll find another option further down that says Web Page Filtered. Now, if you are a Mac user, you will get something slightly different. It will be Web Page and then in brackets .htm. Then you will get another option, which includes a radio button that says Save Only Display Information into HTML. And you need to click on that and click on save and it will say you're going to lose some formatting absolutely it's getting rid of all these office tags that you don't want if you're going to create a reflowable ebook so you click yes moving on this file is now an html and this is now ready to import into caliber if you don't do this step then this file will not import into caliber and you won't be able to make your ebook so let's close it and open up Calibre to the interface we're now familiar with. We'll take up the whole screen there. And then up on the top left, click on Add Books. Click right in the center of this icon. Do not go to all these options in the arrowhead. It'll just be confusing. Just click right in the center of the icon. And you will be able to select the file you just saved. On my desktop, it is called the Example Individual Journal Formatted, and notice it's an HTM file. If you do save it near where the original Example Individual Journal Formatted files are, then you might confuse it with the original, so don't do that. But click on that, and then click on Open, and you will see that it adds this HTML file to Calibre. Doesn't take long, and it's done. Now, once you've got the file into Calibre, you need to add the cover. So you go up to where it says Convert Books, click in the middle. Again, don't go to this arrowhead. No, just do it right in the middle. Click there, and up comes this dialog box. Now, the very first thing to do is call it what you'd like. Now, I'm going to leave it at example, individual, cover, journal. Okay, I'll get rid of the formatter just so you can see you can change that there. The output format, importantly, is EPUB. See how you can change it to all these other formats. If you wanted to do a Kindle compatible file, you would choose Moby, but we don't want to do that. We want to stick it EPUB, so just leave it on the default EPUB. Then you can put in the author name if you want. Uh, it's fine. You can put in... Uh, a publisher name if you've made one up and importantly put in a few tags this one might be InDesign CS6 it can be more than one word separate them by commas maybe you've got Photoshop I'm putting these keywords in because you might be using these terms in the content of the book and when people are looking for your book over the internet I mean if you actually had it out there for sale, they would be looking for key terms like this, uh, POD for print on demand, or indeed the whole term print on demand, separate them by commas. These are sometimes called keywords, caliber calls and tags, same thing, series name if you had it. But really the important thing here is to change the cover image by clicking on this icon in the center of the screen. Sometimes if you're on a small computer, like a notebook, you won't see this central icon very easily. You might have to scroll at the right just to see it, but it is there below this. This is the default cover. You know, the book has no cover. So click on this icon, go to where your example ebook cover is, click on open, and there it is. Now all you have to do is click OK and your ebook will be made in front of you. And it doesn't take long at all. In a second, it'll pop up here near formats, near where it says zip. Here it goes and it will say EPUB. There it is. OK. So your EPUB ebook has been made. First, you might want to see where it is located on your computer because later on, 
you're going to need to upload this EPUB ebook to collaborate. So on the path option, click to open. It'll show you where it's stored. Now, when you set up Calibre, you installed a Calibre library folder. You might not have been too aware where it is, but that's okay because when you open up Path, you can see where it is. In On this PC, it's under Documents, Calibre Library, you and Mitchell, and then Example Individual Journal. Now, notice this one here is the EPUB file. If you want to open it, you can use software like Adobe Digital Editions, but you don't need to open it. Uh, with separate software. There is a built-in viewer with Calibre that I'll show you in a minute, but you do need to upload the EPUB file. Don't upload the JPEG. Please do not upload the zip file or the OPF file, just the EPUB file, which I'm showing you now, of course, with your name and title on it. So let's have a look at the EPUB book without having any extra software additions. All you need to do is quickly double click up here where it's blue. And the ebook viewer displays your ebook. Now you can go through this by clicking these arrows to next page, and you can see, ah, there it all is. There's the mission statement, and it might separate things occasionally like that, but that's all fine. Now, this is the most obvious display of reflowable text, which I'm about to do for you now. See these A buttons? Let's click increase font size. Okay, doing it twice. Now you can see what reflowable text is all about. On that one screen, we now have far fewer words because we increased the size of the font or the text. If we want to decrease the size by clicking the A button below, you can see how, whoa, we've suddenly got many more words on this page. That's the idea of reflowable text. You cannot do that with a PDF. You can zoom in and out, but you can't change the number of pages, if you like, in the document. And there you have it, an ebook. If the heading one and heading two are acting a bit like page breaks, don't worry too much about that. And we'll close that, and you are ready to upload your EPUB ebook to collaborate. Thank you very much. <laughs>